Hey guys, welcome back with the letter T. Today we're going to be working on our toucan drawing. So hopefully you have something to draw with. And it could be a pencil, it could be a marker, uh, a crayon. And uh, we're going to get started with the eye. So the very first step, we're just going to draw one eye. So we're going to start with a circle. Um, and we're going to make it about the size of maybe a dime. And if you'd like to have the glare in the eye, you can add one more circle inside and we're going to leave that white. So I'm going to color in the pupil of the toucan. All right, there we go. And next step is to go around it with another ring. So I'm going to go right around the outside. Try to make sure that's pretty straight. There we go. All right, drawing sideways. Sometimes I can get a little crooked. So I'm gonna go around it with the ring and this is just gonna be right outside of the toucan. So we're gonna come here and just go around it for the eye. There we go, so we've got one eye, okay. The next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an oval around it. So this is gonna be for the orange in the toucan's, um, well, this will be for the orange that I have in my toucan's eye, but you can make it a different color if you'd like. So it looks like an eye, but this is actually gonna be part of its fur. Okay, so what we're going to do next is where this curves out over here, um, this is good because this is going to start our beak. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out from there and we're going to go down. So for the toucan's beak, we're just on the eye and moving to the beak. We want to come down to a point. So it can go just a little bit further if you want. And then we're going to come back to it there. So we have the start of the bird's beak and that it's going to go almost to the edge of your paper. And I'll color, oops, I'll color this little band in black. And then I'm going to put a little bit of black in the tip of the nose. So right about here, okay? So then we're going to draw um, another, let's see, we're going to make just a little rainbow shape here. And we're going to copy that band that's just right above it and we're going to come to the top of the the beak and then you can make that part black so this part right maybe just right around here it's like the tip of the beak if you want to color that in now you could do that now or you could do that later so i'll fill in some parts now and then um, we'll color and add some other colors later okay so the eye the beak sort of looks like a raven or something also as well. Okay, so we want to double up this line too. Give that a little curve and color that in. All right, so the next step, we want to draw the head. So we want our head of our bird to kind of come out and around. So sort of in a circle form, we're going to come up from the eye. So right around here and then come out and then maybe just stop right below the eye. I think that might be a good spot right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a little curve right in here. So I'm going to leave this white because the bird is going to be black. Maybe I'll add one more so you can do one. Maybe I'll put one more right in here. And that's just the shine of what would hit or reflect off of the bird and go down to its face. Okay, so we're going to come in just a little bit. And then we're going to go down for the bird's body. And just in, and then the bird's chest and the body. So you want it to kind of come out. So if you made it a little too skinny, you can always change it um, and fix it and make it a little bit thicker. Okay, so next step. And I'm going to take this from the eye right here, and I'm going to come down to the chest. There we go. I'll give you a second to catch up. And then we have to do the back part here of the body and then we'll work on the wing of the body. And then if there's anything fun you wanna add on um, this space here, it looks like I could probably add an eyebrow or something um, to my bird if I want. So we can do that or we can do that a little bit later. All right. <clears throat> okay, next up, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come out a little bit here and then just go down to the edge or the bottom of the paper. Okay, so that's for the back part of the bird. And then our next step is going to be to make this wing. So from 
let's see, I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna come down with sort of this V shape that looks like the wing there. And then I'm gonna put this glare in the chest of the bird so we can put this sort of rectangle shape. And I did two there, so maybe I'll do two here. So this part will be black and then these little shines will stay white so that way they reflect off of the bird. Okay. All right. So as you draw the wings, a couple of things that you could do. There's lots of different ways, patterns that you can draw for your wings. You can start with, I'm gonna start at the top right here with just a U shape. So as I start here with a U and then as I go down, it's gonna turn into a W. So the W, it's gonna go down. So then in between the W here, I'm gonna make another U shape. And then the pattern can continue as where it could be reached. So if it could go all the way across, just add a couple little U shapes and we'll go down just about halfway. So I'll go down to here and then I'll change it to straight lines. So I'm gonna make my U in between. Now, and if you come up with a new way of doing your bird's wings, you can definitely uh, get creative and do something different. So let's see, I'll go one more and then what I'm gonna do is draw the straight lines coming down. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. All right, and there we go. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're about ready to work on our background for our birds and then we're gonna put some color into our birds. So the birds will really come to life once we get that color into them, looking uh, fantastic. All right, so what we're gonna do is for a palm leaf, what we'll do is I'm gonna start, I'll start down here, okay? So I'm gonna make three. If you wanna make more than three, you can. If you wanna put flowers, you could do flowers. Um, we're gonna start with, oh, I forgot this shine right here. Okay, so I like the little shines and the glares of the light once it kind of really pops, once you get that black in there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go out with a sort of a triangle shape. Looks like a blade of grass. Okay, give me a second to get there. Now, the palm leaves, okay, on this side are all gonna go towards the same direction. So let's say if I go, I'm gonna go, I'll go up. So I'll go up towards, um, pointing up towards me. So this half, I'm gonna make, say if I make 10 going up here, they're all gonna point towards me. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I didn't even fit 10 in there. So I'm gonna stop at seven. So they all kind of go in the same direction up towards me. The opposite side from that center uh, palm, they're gonna go the other way. So they're gonna go towards the toucan. So I'll start here. One, two, three, four. And this one goes behind, so I don't have to worry about it. I only had four. I could fit one more. Let's fit one more right there in that space, okay? And then you can make them green, you can make them yellow. If you have different shades of green, that would be cool. All right, so let's get one going into this corner here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with that first step. So we start with the center of the palm, which is like a triangle, uh, a blade of grass, something short, sharp. And then I'm gonna go on this side. So this side's gonna point down towards the toucan's head. So one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like I only got five on that side. Look like Wolverine's claws. Now when I go to this side, they're gonna point towards the beak, okay? So mine on this side are gonna go that to that way now. Three, four, five. And as we start to sort of fill that space, we can get, and I'm gonna finish off with one more right here, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get ready to start to color. Okay, so if you beat me, you can start coloring too. All right, so right here, I'm gonna go down in the corner. One, oops, that got a little bit. So this one, I'll have it going here. And now on this side, I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim towards this wing right here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, 
Looks like four. I just had four on that side. So now this side, I'm going to aim towards this eye. Okay. So we'll go one, two, three, four. And I'll just squeeze a little one in there right there. All right. So there we go with our toucan drawing. So as we get ready to color it, um, have some fun with it, boys and girls. And our letter T for the day and our Pokemon pick of the day, there was a toucan Pokemon. So our pick for the day is the toucan, toucan Pokemon. And uh, what you can do is you can even color. I love the beak design that's in this one. Um, this Pokemon character has blue uh, sort of, oops, wait, there we go, claws. And has that sort of, uh, oh, I left that, I should have done that white shine in the beak there. So let's get ready to do this, boys and girls. Let's get ready to share. So if you can, please turn your cameras on. Um, and let's get ready to hold them up. Give it to us real quick on our three, two, one, show. Let's put them up in front of the camera so that we can see them. Thank you, boys and girls. And I'll see you next week. Bye.